Welcome to Moo Math and Science and the difference between using a bar graph and a line graph. You've collected your data, you may have filled out a data table, and now you're trying to decide, should I use a bar graph or a line graph? A bar graph works well for categories, a line graph works well for time. So let's take a look at this bar graph. Notice it's the favorite food of students. Notice that you have categories, chips, fries, candy, or pizza. And then you have students. So they are categories. Another example, and this is fun, the favorite graph. Again, you have categories, bar charts, pie graphs, histograms, etc. And then the number of people is your y-axis. Again, it uses categories. Now let's contrast this to a line graph. Notice with this line graph, it's the GDP or the gross domestic product. And notice that on the x-axis you have time starting in the 1700s and increasingly like to 1981. So it is over time. Let's look at another example. You see line graphs used a lot with stock market and you have the price of the company X and notice at the bottom again it is over time and then you have the stock price on the y-axis. One more example again it's from the stock market. You have um, dollars on the y and time on the x-axis. Now another tip you may have heard this dry mix. The D stands, stands for dependent, R for responding, and the Y for the Y axis. So the dependent variable always goes on the Y axis. And then the mix is for manipulated, independent X axis. So your independent variable always goes on the X axis. Just a tip to help you uh, remember which axis to put your independent and dependent variable. So in summary, the bar graph is works well for categories. The line graph works well for time. Thanks for watching and Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.